Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan, the K Fester 5. This is the, at the Yogi National First Gymnasium. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. And we have the K1 Open Weight Tournament here. This is Satoshi Ishii. I think uh, we don't need much introduction about him. He's the gold medalist from Beijing. In judo. Uh, yeah, in judo. Yeah. Uh, uh, over 100 kgs versus uh, Kosuke Jitsutaka. Yeah, okay. Let's just talk about these guys' weight, man. <laughs> so okay. Ishii yes, weighed yes. in the day before yep. at 112 kilos. Wow. Right? Okay, right. Yeah, come on. And, and he's like my height, 108, uh, 180 kilos, right? Yeah. And then Jitsutaka <laughs> weighed in at 126.75 kilos. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we're not yeah, talking sumo, but this is a big voice. Wow. So it's, it's Kosuke, if he, wow, all that way, if he can wield it around onto his... his Kosuke is, you know, he's classical multi uh, background, he's a multi background, and, uh, and uh, also the champion of the Big Bang Bang. And I think it will be in his face. I think he will find it fairly easy to fight uh, Ishii in this fight. Mm. Simply because of his, his skill. His sure. skill set is different. Yeah. This is uh, Ishii's uh, third K1 fight. He's had two wins. Two wins. Yeah, so, so far, so good. It always surprises me to see how he's close to his For his size, he's actually really flexible and he's mm -hmm. like loose and he kicks really well. Right, right. Of course, the, the big impression I have mostly of him is that he's uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, completely knocked out of the first and Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got Ishii here at South Pole. Yeah. And I think, it, like I said, I think it's actually not a big Maybe I shouldn't speak that was a good shot. A lot of shots, actually. A lot of shots there from <laughs> what are you say? Are you no, I, I, I completely <laughs> lost my train of thought there. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. 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 No, what I was going to say is that he probably finds it not so difficult um, Kolsky to fight against the South Pole. Sure, sure. uh, he's using his right leg. Very interesting match. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah. I mean, you could take it two ways, right? Yep. When you share that that 10 second uh, tap on the on the ring mat there, mm -hmm. you know, the tick, 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 you know, the 10 second. Go. Some guys take that as a cue to go ballistic, basically, on the other guy. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> right. Just like yeah, on the hellfire, right? Yeah. yeah. And these two guys are like, ah, oh, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. As you say, it's uh, two different uh, different approaches. What might happen. Yeah. See that, that flurry punch there? That was oh. actually good. It started oh. with a good left oh. hand. He recovered and beat him back, so he didn't do really it. Oh. Maybe that's something Krokov told him. Yeah, also. Yeah. I'm still finding it a little bit hard to wrap my head around it because she has actually got some skills. Yes, yes. Doesn't look like he's still, like, uh, he's gotten confidence in the ring yet. Good sign is none of them were sitting down. Both of them weren't yeah. sitting down in the race. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah.
Let's see what happens in round two. Where's it? I hold it. Oh, I just hold that. <laughs> well, deja vu. Oh man, what a shot. Okay, okay. Are you standing? Okay, right. So about that one? Yes, yes, finish him off. Come on. Come on. Nice. Ooh, there you go. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Well done, Ishii. Well done. That was, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> he's, like you said, he's got the skills and he's learning, right? Like in his, in his third K1. Uh, yeah. Match here, wow. Is he hurting? I think he's hurting. Yeah, he's hurting. in the in the body, the middle there, and, and looking at Ow. happy, but also yeah. What was the delay from? from uh, here? I want to see the slow motion of what happened at the end there. It looks like he took something to the stomach. Okay, well this. a knee or something. Is Saka on the floor, and um, is she oh. not looking too happy with a lot of pain in his Ow. Uh, that doesn't look good. Lower chest area, yeah. No, that looks like a broken rib. I don't know. We'll probably find out a little bit later on. See, that's that's punch, exactly what yeah. I told him to do. I mean, I didn't tell him to do it. I was hoping he would do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, what a shot. That is 126 kilos dropping. <laughs> is that what it looks like? Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, the... Was that it? Ah. Look, there you go, see? He got that knee. That oh. knee. That's the one. Ouch. Just before Jistaka oh. went down. Oh. Remember how we were just talking about he was doing everything right? Yeah. He's fighting a southpaw, yeah. he's using his knees, using his yeah. right leg for the kicking. That's perfect timing. So just before he went down. You know, if yeah. Ishii is actually injured, that's going to be interesting for the rest of the tournament. Oh, okay, right. Because that looks pretty painful, like you said, right? Could be a broken something. Oh, you, know, you can recover if it's just uh, if it's just being you know winded. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but okay. if you if you broke something, which is possible, I've seen it happen. Doesn't look too happy then. I remember very vividly uh, a K1 fight back in the day with Jan Norcher from uh, South Africa versus a uh, a guy from Sweden. Yeah. Uh, his name eludes me right now, but he did exactly the same thing. Like I think in the first round or something. Jan Norcher is like two meters and fourteen right, centimeters right. tall, <laughs> and this the Swedish guy uh, went in and he did exactly that. that just got that knee timed right perfectly, dropped the guy like a, a big sack. It was incredible. This is K1 World Grand Prix 2022 in Japan at the Yogi National First Gymnasium. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.